Almost 60 years ago, the world imagined the future like this. 20 years later, they imagined something like this. Today, the reality is different, but the reality is that machines are becoming more and more like us. Can you imagine a computer that shares our DNA? Well, experts are making it happen. Yes, it is not an exaggeration, let alone a drama. Computers are taking over our DNA. And it is not surprising, considering that our DNA is the largest memory in the universe, collecting information even from our ancestors. It's like an instruction manual for life, providing millions of structural combinations to guide its production. Wait a minute, what does this have to do with computers? Well, everything. 30 years ago, someone was bitten by the curiosity bug and, together with a group of engineers, investigated the ability of molecules to function as the basis of a biological computer. Yes, 30 years and still not so much progress, because most DNA computers only process a few algorithms. That is, they are as dumb as a pocket calculator. Actually, I could say that the calculator has more merit. But wouldn't you guess? Would you guess if I asked you who made a major breakthrough? The Chinese. That's right. A team of Chinese researchers has created a DNA integrated circuit that has finally made a breakthrough. How do 100 billion circuits sound? That is what the Chinese have managed to create in this circuit, which is more versatile and practical because each circuit is capable of running a program individually. Now, what is the difference between a normal computer and a biological computer? Well, it has nothing to do with destroying the world, I can assure you. A DNA-based biological computer offers significant leaps in speed and capacity. While the maximum capacity of a hard drive today is about 20 terabyte, for a biological computer, it would be just a few MB. Of course, it's all in the application, because if someone wanted to use it to end the world, they could do that. But that's not the case, because scientists are looking for ways to make it adaptable and have a wider range of potential applications. You know what that means? Let's see. Here is what the experts have to say. Programmability and scalability are two critical factors in achieving general purpose computing, they say in the published studies. This means that they are still working on it, although they are really close to achieving it. It has not been an easy task, as scientists have focused on something called programmable gate arrays based on DNA, or what is also known as DPGA, which are tiny segments of DNA linked together to create something bigger. The rest is history. I know, it's a bit confusing, and I'm sure you're wondering, what are these DPGAs all about? Well, their manufacture was done precisely from scraps of DNA in a test tube, based on chemical reactions to join together in the combinations needed to get the results our Chinese friends wanted. Of course, we are still far from seeing the true potential of biological computers, so we still have to imagine how they will be in the future, and if gamers will use them too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos.